hello everyone welcome to the full calendar js series in the previous videos we learned that how we can create the events how we can update the events and how to change the color of event how to change their background color and stuff like that so now the time is to display the event on full cells so for example in your case uh, your client requirement is uh, he only he or she only want to display only one booking at one day not multiple and he want to don't want to display this a uh, smaller event uh, right he want to display this on the full cell uh, even he want to display this full width and full height so how you can reserve this uh, full event uh, full event space so this is a very simple you need to just uh, increase its uh, width and height right and then you need to assign uh, some bar, uh, flex property and stuff like that right so let's uh, implement this and by the way if you are not familiar with the uh, with the events that how you can display the events with the weeks by default how to display them by default with the day so you can watch my previous video where i completely explain and everything so now let's work on this so this is the event so i I did many classes uh, through this uh, jQuery that uh, how you can add these uh, add the style of this event so if you want to add some style on the full calendar so you can add FC but if you want to display uh, add the functionality on the event so then you need to call this FC event right so here I'm not going to add this through this uh, jQuery most of the time I prefer this through jQuery but this is the generic thing so we are going to apply this on the all events that's why we are applying this through the uh, style CSS right so here you need to call the FC event right FC event plus and here you need to assign some height right and I want to assign this 140 height right so now let's get refresh and yes it's uh, too much higher so now I'm going to decrease the height and then also going to assign some width right so here I'm going to assign this uh, 120 and yes it's still uh, having some heights and i also want to align this uh, uh, align this event title at the center so i need to justify the content uh, center so i'm going to i'm not good designer that's why i'm going to follow the uh, follow some i'm going to search this on the google and then i'm going to come back so here I have find this property that in this way you can align your content in the center even you have width and height. So I copied this thing here so I need this stuff right so I need I don't need this border. So I, I have already prepared this stuff with the exact width and height which is required to fit in this calendar right. So let me pay, uh, remove this one remove this height and I'm going to paste this out oops let me paste this like this okay so we have a width we have a height and uh, this one is a display flex and here we are going to you know, make the wrap uh, a flex wrap as a wrap and then we are going to align this into the center right so now let's save this one and uh, get refresh and yes now our event is appeared like this so we can uh, now it's uh, uh, properly visible so it's not increasing the size of our cell right so let me drag this here down so you can view this it's uh, perfectly added right so it's also displaying the calendar date right and it's also displaying the full width of calendar right so here and I drag this out and yes it's updated and it's easily updating uh, updating these events with the specific width and height so you can change the width but it's going to change your um, change your this first row if you for example let me go here and increase this uh, width from 105 so now this first row size will be shrinked right and yes it's shrinked and if i drop this on the second row 
so it will be also shrinked and yes it's also shrinked so that's why i fit this uh, into one line and then uh, that's why i'm not going to increase this size because it's so uh, whenever you are dragging and uh, dragging on some other places so it's also going to extend their size so i don't want to display this weird thing right so that's why i define the fixed size so if you are interested to learn about uh, how you can add the recurring events so like if you want to display uh, want to add an event on this 11 and you want to also add this on the next upcoming uh, uh, next upcoming week on 18 and on 25 so how you can add the recurring events in the full calendar js so i will shoot this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye